Cody and Shkalo, guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are back again with more things to look over. And what we are looking at today, guys, is probably going to be a really big marking point in Destiny 2. It is going to be the nerf of linear fusion rifles in the special salt. So the freaking Arbalist and the Lorenz have got a freaking nerf. You'll see it on the screen right now if I can grab it real quick. Oh, boys, we've waited so long. We've waited so freaking long for linear fusion rifles to get changed, but they have just got hot patched right now, of course, Tuesday reset, meaning that these things might not be the be-all, end-all in PvP. Basically, this is what's going to happen. So, in general, increase the flinch received from player damage. Flink magic shoot from players has been increased by four times that of sniper rifles to make up for the lower zoom and higher aim assist. They've also increased the flinch settle time by 60%, so the time it reticle obviously goes back down to normal. Reduce the aim assist cones by 35%. That means that you should no longer get those dumbass freaking headshots around walls when you don't even aim with them. It's going to be glorious. The flinch is one thing, of course. Getting shot when you're flinching them is a pain in the ass. Like, there's nothing you can do physically. There's nothing better you could have done if you're making them flinch. But Arbor and the freaking Larry Driver losing 35% aim assist cones. It's not actual aim assist. It's the cone that they can hit. That's a big deal because, as I said, everyone in freaking Destiny has a big-ass snow globe as a head. The freaking target acquisitioning is nutty, but reducing this means that they're going to require a lot more skill to hit some headshots. And we're going to showcase that, guys, if they are actually changed right now. If they are a good change, is it still going to be dominant? If they're going to be skill-intensive or they're still going to be broken, whatever. We are here to find that out. We're going to go into PvP with both the Arbalist and the Larry Driver. We're going to try it out, though. So without further ado, let's go into PvP first with the Arbalist Linear Fusion Rifle. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Widow's Court, of course, with our Arby first of all. And uh, yeah, we won't really see me much until I start getting shot and everything. But I think that honestly, one of the biggest changes are the flinch changes. So you'll see, I'm going to get flinched like hell. They've increased the flinch four times more than Sniper's ever got. And also the increased stuff. So you can kind of see that it will flinch a bit now, obviously. Oh, broski, don't not come at me. And that's a shoddy. Oh my god. And yep, go. <laughs> But you see, I will be flinched and stuff. Now, I don't spec into Brazil as much as other people do. Like, I think I'm at like 40 or 50 like that. So, I'm going to be getting the me like the main flinch anyway. But it's basically, with a by 4 by like snipers because of the low zoom, this should be getting flinched to Kingdom Come regardless of your thing. But, uh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm still able to hit shots. And bro, bro. Oh, my God. There's flinched. <laughs> so, you see, you do flinch a little bit. Now, of course, you can see you can't hit dumb skis. This isn't going to stop the thing from stopping you from killing, getting those random kills anyway because... Flinch in general, it always just gave you kind of linear flinch in terms of upwards. It never really stopped you from getting any kills at all. So, is there a dude here? There is. Oh my god, he's up my ass. But yeah, it's never going to stop you getting those random ass kills and everything like that. It just stopped it being so easy for certain people. Because some people have mastered getting flinched so much that you can actually hit the shots now. There's a guy over here. And you'll see that. Oh, there's the headshots. You'll see. It's still easy enough to hit a headshot. I'm not going to lie. I know aim assist is a big thing in D2 anyway. But it's still easy enough to hit some headshots and everything. And oh my god, PP just freaking nailed me. And of course, in the right hands and everything, these sorts of weapons are still going to be solid. Because as I said, low zoom weapons are always going to be good. And look how easy that is. I mean, if I have a sniper, it's somewhat similar to hit that. But they still have a good bit of aim assist, these linears. Like, these are not freaking bad like, aim assist wise. But you can see, like, they can steal the wreck out and everything. And bro, give me the heal. But I do think that it will get rid of some of the frustrations of it. It means that you won't just be getting absolutely, like, nailed through walls and everything like that. But I do think that, realistically, they're still going to be a solid ass choice. Like, you can see, they're pretty easy to still use. I mean, I don't think they're ever going to be able to not make these easy to hit dome skis. Because aim assist kind of has to be decent on them. Because if they're not, they will legit be useless. And you can see, though. The freaking flinch. Now, I'm so dead. Oh, where is the aerial effectiveness, huh? Where is mine? Whenever I use a good midair, I can't hit shit. But this guy, the PP, doesn't matter to him. He can hit everything he freaking wants. Now, bro, please stop. Oh, there's the flinch, though. I said, you can't get... You honestly can't get flinched pretty well. Like, I'm telling you, the flinch makes a massive difference. I don't really see much of a difference in terms of the aim assist and everything. Oh, bro. How are you not dead? What the... God damn it. I honestly don't see much of a difference, though, when it comes to the aim assist and everything like that. But I do definitely think... There is a big difference to the flinch. The flinch does make you feel like freaking like a noob. Like, it's pretty hard to aim with it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, gonna be a mofo here, though. And that's what I mean by, obviously, if I have a sniper there, I'm probably killing him anyway. But I do think that it's still easy enough to hit Domskis. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I I've used Arby a bit in Lorenz and everything. I haven't crutched them or anything like that. But I do think that it's still pretty easy to hit shots. Like, 
It's not difficult with these sort of weapons. And I think that the 35 the cone, cone, I was hoping we could actually feel a little bit better in terms of actually nerfing things. Oh my good god, of course I get peaked by a different freaking guy over there. But yeah, I would have rather they nerfed the aim assist a lot more than this because I do feel like these still hit freaking shots and everything. Obviously, I'm not getting any of those kind of bullshit ones around the wall, but even just the normal ass body shots and everything like that, it's still gonna do work. And why is there always just two guys swinging me? It's rumble and I feel like I'm getting squatted on. And bro, there was a guy right here in the rift, right there he is there. Oh! Ah, uh, there's the flinch, so yeah, you'll see. The flinch does make a big difference. I think that's the biggest kicker, but I will still say when it comes to the weapon, especially for the hunters who kind of go into Kefri's thing and everything like that, I do not see, like the Arbalist especially, I don't see this being a different thing. As I said, I'll probably go with the Lorenz now, but I do still think that Kefri's thing, freaking Invis Hunters, this is still going to be a pain point in trials. People are still going to use this because it's going to be so easy to get kills with. But as I said, the flinch does make a big difference to it. I do like the flinch change. Alrighty, so we are going to be on, of course, the Twilight Gap with our Larry driver and everything. There's going to be a dude here who's going to actually freaking do that to me. And, oh, bro, we'll get your ass back here. You're weak, aren't you? What the? Oh, if I died there, I would be pissed. <laughs> but you can see that, obviously, the Larry, it's going to be decent, of course, uh, aim assist-wise and everything. Of course, you're just going to, what the? What the? I feel bad. I honestly feel bad. I feel bad. That happens to me all the time. I feel real freaking bad right now, but... Obviously, the flinch, I think that is the biggest change to this. I think that the flinch makes a massive difference to the weapon, I think, uh, compared to, obviously, the aim assist cone. I think the cone, it might help in certain freaking headshots or whatever, but I think for the most part, it's still pretty much the exact same now. Oh, my good God, bro, bro, leave me alone, leave me alone. Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! No, you son of a gun! How did he not kill me? Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, bro, bro, bro. No, no. No, let me reload the Larry, bro. Let me reload Larry driver. Oh, where the... Man, this guy is like... This guy's so elusive! Jump, jump, do something! We'll get him in the body! Body sh... <laughs> My god. Frustrations are still gonna be freaking there when it comes to those general freaking shots and everything, especially when it comes to invis hunters. You're still gonna be freaking annoying. Of course, they're gonna be annoying because going invis is the main deal. If you're not shooting at them straight away, you're pretty much screwed because the aim assist... The cone hasn't made the biggest difference as, as much as I thought it'd be. I thought that would be the big kind of kicker, but I'll definitely say that the big kicker for me right now is the flinch. Now, as I said, I don't really spec into resilience as much, but I will say the flinch, even if you have 100 resilience, you're going to be flinching like crazy because this has four times the sniper flinch, which is already high enough. The aim assist is still freaking insane on this sort of weapon. So realistically, you're still going to have those sorts of pain points. And uh, we got the other guy. Nope, I didn't, but <gasps> Mochacho, bro. Bro, you... Oh, if this guy shotguns me in the face, I'm going to be so pissed. And wait, that was a full melee hit? What? It was full HP? Uh, again, we don't ask those questions, and I missed. But as I said, maybe that is the bit of the aim assist I'm talking about. Maybe that, like, in the like, pre-nerf or whatever, I wouldn't get that shot in. It is funny to still hear people using the armless and everything. I don't know if they know it's been nerfed or not, or they're just wondering. Imagine people didn't see, like, patch notes and just, like, walk into a game and was like, what the hell is going on? My gun is so bad right now. I'm trying to see if someone will freaking peek me, but no one's feeding the bear. But yeah, I will say the flinch is, is just, <laughs> The flinch is insane now. I, I do think the flinch is definitely the biggest kicker for me. Can I shoot through that wall? I have no idea. But it's definitely the biggest thing because you can see that you bounce like hell. It doesn't matter what weapon they're really using. Obviously, the kind of more suppressing fire ones like autos will make you bounce like a mofo. But I do think that, general speaking, this sort of uh, nerf, I like it. I do think it changes. Will it make these, uh, like, obsolete? I don't think it'll make the mass or anything. I still do think people will use these weapons because there's low zoom with, as I said, those Kefri Hunters and everything like that. That's still going to be a solid ass choice. Now I got shot in the ass. But it's still going to be a solid ass choice to kind of go in with. But... I think the reign of terror of people being able to absolutely annihilate with these sorts of weapons is definitely gone. Especially my freaking ass who has the crutch. Oh my god, that freaking stupid ass sidearm. But yeah, I do think the reign of terror where every single noob under the sun could pick up a freaking Larry and just absolutely dominate with the thing. I think that might be gone because as I said, as long as you get those couple of shots off to kind of flinch them and everything like that. They're really not going to be able to aim. The flinch is in freaking sane on this thing right now. As I said, I don't spec into the reset or anything like that, but... I will say that it makes a big, huge difference, but of course, if you can hit your shots, you will freaking destroy them. Uh, now, there is a dude up here, bro. Oh my god, the freaking flinch. My good god, it's so hard to get used to now, bro. Come on, peek, bro. Bro. Come on, bro. Really? Oh, now we beast. <laughs> but that is the Larry Driver. As I said, low scoring games twice, but as I said, you just can't really go in with these anymore, especially in Rumble where you kind of know where everyone is, but... I do think, yeah, Jen, definitely this nerf has made a big difference to uh, how viable they are, but I still do think in certain builds, they are still going to be a top tier meta weapon.
Well, that is it for me. And of course, our Larry Driver and our freaking Arbalist. As I said, the biggest kicker for me is definitely going to be those flinch changes. They are a huge change to this archetype. Four times more flinch than snipers ever had and stuff like that is freaking nuts. How many, like, as soon as you get shot in the face, this thing goes up. It doesn't matter what weapon they're using, if they're using high cali rounds, using an SMG, whatever they're using, it will make you bounce. That's why it's even more freaking painful to play against or play with when they're using, like, if you use a uh, time loss, obviously, Fatebringer with explosive rounds or something, you legit cannot aim. Your aim goes sky high. Now, you definitely can get some kills through flinch if you're lucky enough. You kind of have to pull down a lot harder and everything like that. And there is a max cap, it seems to be, that, like, if you're getting flinched like hell, it seems to, like, stay really stable, kind of up high. So you just have to pull down a good bit. But I will definitely say, I think it's a big change. It'll mean that, like, not every single guy under the sun can use this. Mm. It will be a top-tier weapon, I think, but it'll be a high-skilled sort of weapon in terms of if you're getting shot at to actually hit your shots. I do think hunters are still going to benefit a million times over with every thing and stuff like that. Invis hunters, because they won't know where you are, and then you can pop your shot off real quick. Because I do think the aim assist on this... It's still pretty solid. I know the cone got reduced by 35, but it's still pretty easy to hit headshot. Now, obviously, my PvP gameplay might not have shown that because I'm ass, but I do think if you're good with the Laurent or the Arbalist, you'll still do work with this. It doesn't. It's still a one-shot in PvP with a low zoom. So, Invis Hunters and everything, you're still going to do pretty damn well in some PvP, but I do think overall... It will make these a little bit less more like desirable. I do think other weapons will, of course, take the forefront over this, I think, right now. So Forerunner is definitely going to be used a little bit more because it's just easier to use. This will probably drop from being absolutely S tier to probably A tier on most characters. Hunters will still probably be an S tier weapon because, as I said, Invis is just ridiculous. But I do think overall it'll change the meta a little bit. And you won't be really getting shot rank quarters and everything with it, as I said. The aim assist or the cone is a little bit smaller, but I do think overall... It's honestly a good change. I do like the change to these, uh, the linear fusion rifles. I think the nerf, it's a decent one. I do think it doesn't absolutely nuke them, but I do think it makes them a lot less viable. But regardless, if you like the video, trust the like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you at the next collective. In the next.